In this lesson, we'll look at the meaning behind the numbers presented in the MPK ratio of fertilizers and do a few calculations. This video is specifically designed for students studying horticulture or for any green industry professional. Now one of the most important things that you'll need to know before performing any fertilizer calculations is to understand the numbers presented in the NPK ratio of the fertilizer. The NPK ratio is the fertilizer analysis that tells you information about three key nutrients, nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, and is usually written in large bold letters on the packaging, as shown in this illustration. The N represents the percentage of elemental nitrogen found in the package. P represents the percentage of phosphorus pentoxide, which has the chemical formula P2O5, and when combined with water, forms phosphoric acid. And K represents the amount of potassium oxide, it has the chemical formula K2O and is more commonly known as potash. One common error people make regarding this ratio is misinterpreting the P for elemental phosphorus rather than P2O5 and K for potassium instead of K2O. So when asked for the percentage of elemental phosphorus or potassium, you're actually required to perform two separate calculations, which I'll show you later on in an example. With that being said, let's take a look at an example. The question asks, in a package whose MPK ratio is 33-10-5, what percentage of the product contains nitrogen, P2O5, and K2O? If the package weighs 40 pounds, how much of each nutrient does it contain by weight? So let's begin by looking at this fertilizer analysis. The first number represents N, so this means that 33% of the package is elemental nitrogen. The second number represents P2O5. So I'll write down P for short. And that means 10% of the total weight of the fertilizer is P2O5. And this last number, the K, is 5% K2O. So that answers the first part of the question. The second part of the question is, if the fertilizer weighs 40 pounds, how much of each nutrient does it contain by weight? And for that, we'll use this special formula called B times R is equal to P, where P represents the portion, R represents the rate, which is this percentage, and B represents the base value, and in our case, it's 40 pounds. So if we want to find out how much nitrogen by weight is found in this fertilizer. We'll take a base value of 40 pounds, multiply it to the decimal version of that percentage, which is 0 0.33. Simply take that number and divide it by 100% and you end up getting the decimal. And by multiplying these two, we get the portion of nitrogen by weight. So let's use our calculator. 40 times 0.33 makes 13.2 pounds of this product is elemental nitrogen. Again, we'll do the same thing for the next nutrient. So 40 times 0 0.10, and that gives us four pounds, four pounds of P2O5. And finally, 40 times 0 0.05, that makes two pounds. Let's take this a step further. If you're asked for the percentage of elemental P and K, things change a little. Firstly, the molecular weight of P205 is 142 grams per mole. I won't show you how this is derived in this video, but it's fairly easy to calculate using a periodic table. The portion of this molecule that is P only is 62 grams per mole. That means phosphorus only represents 44% of this molecule. Similarly, K2O has a molecular weight of 94 grams per mole. The portion of the molecule that is potassium only is 78 grams per mole. Again, potassium only represents 83% of the molecule. Take a look at the calculation. So if you're being asked for the amount of elemental phosphorus and potassium, after finding the amount of P2O5 and K2O, you simply multiply those values by their percent rates, which we just talked about. If that's confusing to you, let's do an example. Question two reads, for the 50 pound bag of fertilizer depicted below, 
State the percentage of all these things. They want the percentage of nitrogen, P2O5, and so on. Let's begin with the easiest of all these, being nitrogen. For that, all we have to do is read the label. It's 20%, that first number. P2O5 is equally as simple. It's 5. And the amount of K2O, which is that last number in the analysis, that's 15. We'll leave these two at the end. The amount of filler is calculated by taking 100% of the bag and subtracting that from the sum of these three numbers. So 20 plus 5 plus 15. Together that makes 40. 100 minus 40 is 60% filler. So that's everything that does not include these three key nutrients. And the total should be the sum of these four numbers, which has to be 100%. Now let's worry about elemental phosphorus and potassium. We'll begin with phosphorus. So to find out the percentage of phosphorus, we take the percentage of P2O5, and using that same formula as before, B times R is equal to P, we can find the portion of this 5% that's only P. Now remember that the amount of P in one molecule of P2O5 is always 44%. So we'll multiply this by 0 0.44, and we'll find out the percentage of elemental phosphorus. 5 times 0 0.44 makes 2.2% of the entire bag is phosphorus. Now for potassium, we use a different percentage. We use 83%, as discussed earlier. So we'll take 15% and multiply it by 0 0.83. This should give us the portion of that 15% that is only K. So I'll take 15 times 0.83 and we end up with 12.45%. 12.45% of the entire package of this formulation is potassium. Let's move on to question B. So for this, they expect us to calculate the weight of each nutrient in pounds. Of course, we'll need the percentages that we calculated earlier, that we found earlier. So. If we want to find the weight of nitrogen, remember that the package is 50 pounds. We'll take 50 pounds and multiply it by 0 0.2 because 20 divided by 100 is 0 0.2. And I'll put this right here so that we don't run into any confusion. And for all of these, again, I'm using the formula BR or B times R is equal to P. So for this one, I'll take 50 times 0 0.05, remember the percentage of P2O5 was 5%, 50 times the percentage of P only, that was 0 0.022, and you get the idea. So you take all of these percentages and you keep multiplying them by 50, and you find out the weight of each. So I'll show you the first few and then I'll fill in the rest. 50 times 0 0.2 makes 10 pounds of elemental nitrogen. 50 times 0 0.05, that is 2.5 pounds of P2O5. The weight of phosphorus only is 50 times 0 0.022, and that is 1.1. If you do the rest correctly, you should end up with the following values. And finally, the total should add up to 50 pounds, and it does. Take 10 plus 2.5 plus 7.5 plus 30, that amounts to 50 pounds. That's all I have for this video. If you have any further questions, please use the comment section below and I'll gladly help you. Talk to you all later.